Hello there. Welcome to Music Theory Grade 3 and we are in week 6. We are going to be discussing transcription and transposition. Transcription. What is transcription in music? Transcription means taking a piece of notated music and adapting it for a different clef, yet maintaining the same pitches. So that's what transcription is. Let us look at the example because that's the only way that we can truly understand what transcription is. Now, the question would be, Transcribe the following melody from a treble clef to a bass clef. Now, we must first take into account the notes from the treble clef to the bass clef. Like for instance, we must first identify the notes, which is the first one is G. The second one, G, then E, G again, then B. Let's just look at the first bar. Secondly, we when we transfer the melody to the bass, we must know how the treble clef and the bass clef relate. We have learned that what separates the bass clef from the treble clef is the middle C. And therefore, whatever that we find above the middle C from the bass clef will be notes that are below the treble clef. So that we know very well. So we have we have to take that G over there and look at where it will be if we are looking at it from the perspective of the bass clef, which will be one, two, three leisure lines above the bass clef. So that is our G. It's exactly the same as the G above on the treble clef. And from then onwards, instead of going to each node and finding it on the bass clef, we can use the intervals between the nodes. So the first one is unison, yes. The second one is just the third below. So here it's going to be a third below as well. Then back to the G again. Then a third above. You add another ledger line. And so on and so forth. So there's a note there, it says, use of ledger lines. You must notice the use of ledger lines. The pitches are still the same, but the clef has changed. Remember, with both transcription and transposition, all the dynamics, phrasing, articulation, rhythm, time and key signatures must be rewritten exactly the same way. We must also remember the direction of our stems, that everything that is below the third line of the staff, the stems face up, and everything that is above the third line of the staff, the stems face down. 
transposition. In transposition, we rewrite a piece of notated music an octave higher or lower. The clefs can change or they can remain the same. Now below, we have the same melody from the previous page. The difference is that phrase marks, dynamics and articulation have been added. There's our melody, the first one. Here is the same melody, an octave above in the same clef. As we can see, because we are transposing an octave higher in the same clef, then we must find a G an octave higher. So that G is an octave higher from the first one. Then as I said, we can still use the same method of just looking at the intervals. So it's unison, then a third below, back to the G, a third higher, and so on and so forth. That is transposing the melody an octave above in the same clef. Now we can take the same melody, the original melody, and transpose it an octave lower in the bass clef. So we are changing clefs and our melody is an octave lower. So the first thing, if we take that G, same G that we have in the original, which is this one. Let me just use a different color. Let me just erase this first. We take that G, we find out where it is an octave lower in the bass clef. And then after that, we can use the same method, unison, a third below, back to G. A third above, a second below, a third above, and so on and so forth. Remember, as I said from the previous page, all phrase marks, dynamics, articulation, time signature, key signature must remain the same in both transcription and transposition. Have a good day.